Hi, everyone. My name is Victoria Yampolsky. I'm the president and founder of the Startup Station, an education and finance advisory for early stage startups. Welcome to our weekly strategic finance tips. Today, we're going to talk about a situation where you as a founder may find yourself in, which is you get too much money or too little. What do you do? Right? Um, well, this is not necessarily a good situation to be in because this is not what we expect. So we're going to look at two cases where you get too much and then you get too little. And we're going to start with too much. So first, your first reaction is, oh, my God, this is amazing. Finally, somebody believes in me. And then your second one, well, what do I do now? This is not what I asked for. What do I do with all this money? Right? We all remember what happened with WeWork when WeWork got too much money and then didn't really do them any good. Well, here's what you should do from our perspective. Call your lawyer. Right? So the first thing is to understand the legal implications. You need to consider the terms of the deal, such as liquidation preferences, control rights, voting rights, other things. You need to understand, okay, they're offering you more money, but are the terms good for you and your company? Will they allow you to get future investment? Will they allow you to continue to reach your goals? The second one is to consider financial implication. You need to discuss the deal with your CFO or someone who understands finance, right? You need to understand the equity implications. You need to understand, okay, now that you have more money, what should it be used for? How does it affect your overall growth strategy? Do you even need to put it all to work immediately or do you just hold it for the future and use it as financing for future rounds, right, as, as, as the um, initial capital infusion, right, for, for reaching future milestones. These are all extremely, extremely important considerations. Now, what happens on the opposite end, which is they don't give you enough money? Well, first you're like, oh, no, this is not what I expected. I'm never going to be able to make my dream a reality. This is uh, bad. I cannot take this deal. And then you think, hmm, well, I mean, I got some money. What should I do with it? So again, the uh, solution to this problem is similar, right? First, you consider legal implications. You look at the deal. You make sure it's a deal that will allow you to proceed further. And then you consider financial implications, right? And what you want to understand here is understand, okay, now you have less money than you want it. What does this mean for your strategy? What can you really do with this capital? Will it allow you to reach the next stage? Maybe you will have to raise money again, but your company will be at a different stage at this point. Maybe it'll be easier. Sometimes market feedback is an important indication of where your startup is. So it doesn't matter if you get too much money or too little. There's always something that you can do. And there is always something that you can usually negotiate with investors to make use of their offers. And if not, by the way, and if not, sometimes, usually does not mean always, and if not, don't be scared to walk away from the deal because uh, if that doesn't help you reach your company goals, it's not the right deal. And here you go. If you like this video, please share it with your colleagues and friends in the startup community. Sign up for our YouTube channel to watch other strategic finance tips every Tuesday. And follow us on social media for more educational and other content every week. If you want to learn about our unique framework for modeling credible financials, watch our masterclass, Build Credible Financials for Your Venture. The link is in the description. The masterclass is completely free. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next week.